Samma dude, same Samma here, and welcome to week one of the MTBA. This is the week one team builder. Uh, I'm the coach of uh, Salil Samarat, Salem, and this week we're going up against Video Games and Chill, aka okay, Chris, who is the coach of the Arizona Arceus. So this is a monotype league, for those that don't know, and I'm the electric coach, and Chris is the water coach. So we have to type advantage this week, which is really nice, but he does have a few threats on his team, which can sort of counteract that super effectiveness. So uh, he has Dracovish, which resists, or well, doesn't resist, it's neutral. So like we're, we can still do good damage, but we won't be doing as good damage to Dracovish with, because it's part dragon. Um, then they have um, Seeking, which has Lightning Rod and Seismitoad. So getting those three out are like the highest priority on this uh, for this battle. Um, this is the team I think he's bringing, uh, Pelipper, Seismitoad, Mega Blastoise, Toxapex, Sea King, and Dracovish. Uh, Mega Blastoise is very, like, it, you know, very switchable, I think. I don't know for sure if he's gonna bring it. Um, the rest of his team is Araquanid, which could be very scary if it's running Focus Sash Miracle. Uh, Quillfish has Whiff Swim, and he could bring for extra coverage on the... Uh, Rotom Mo, and then there's Empoleon, which is quite bulky. Um, so I could see him bringing any of those three instead of Blastoise or Pe uh, potentially Pelipper, but I think he's gonna bring Pelipper despite the quadrate weakness. Um, probably run Focus Sash so we can get the rain in and get a Tailwind in at the start, is what I think, because then he can get the Tailwind boost on, boost on Swift Swim or on the Choice Scarf, which will be very handy for him. So, the team we're bringing this week, uh, first up, we're bringing Tapu Koko, of course, Susan No. Um, we're running Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, Grass Knot, Volt Switch, Terrain Extender, and Minus Attack, 4 Defense, 252 Special Attack, and 252 Speed with Timid Nature. Um, basically, what we're gonna do with him is we got Grass Knot for Seismitoad, Thunderbolt for basically everything else other than the Sea King, uh, Grass Knot's also for the Sea King. And Dazzling Gleam is for the Dracovish. Um, and Volt Switch is just to get some, like, switch control, basically. Like, sometimes we go for Thunderbolt, sometimes we go for Volt Switch. Um, it, it, it's weird in Monotype, because you don't need that much... Whoa, didn't mean to do that. There it is. Um, it, you don't really need that much coverage, because, you know, it's Monotype. So, a lot. I, I think a lot of the Pokemon are running, like, Thunderbolt or Thunder and Volt Switch this time. Uh, then we got Rom uh, Romeji. I, I, I named this myself and I can't remember how to pronounce it. I named it eight years ago. Um, I'm gonna have to, like, remember how I pronounce that. I'll have to look it up. Anyway, um, Choice Specs, Surge Surfer, uh, Volt Switch, Psychic, Hidden Power Grass, and Thunder. And he's modest with, uh, 4 HP and 252 speed and special attack. Um, Strat with, uh, Raichu is, we have... Uh, we have a specs just to do some big damage. Thunder's to predict the rain team. Because Thunder will literally Oko anything on his team, I think. Um, other than, obviously, Lightning Rod Seeking or Seismitoad. Um, Psychic is just for general, like, you know, general good stab move. You know, it's a safer play than Thunder or Volt Switch if he's going to go into Seismitoad. Um, does really good damage, like, to basically everything. Um because of the stab and specs. Um, it's also for the Quillfish and the Toxapex, but we could also go for Thunder and Nose. Um, and then Hidden Power Grass is for the Seismitoad and the Seeking. But I'd probably end up going for Psychic on the Seeking now that I think about it. Um, next we got Purple Haze, the Tox... Uh, Tristy? I was about to say Toxapex. Uh, got Punkrock as the ability and is holding an Air Balloon, uh, which means he won't be getting any of the Electric Terrain buffs until the Balloon pops. But it's just because, you know, he's quad weak to ground. So we want to be able to get a switch in, like, safely on him. Um, and he's got Overdrive, Volt Switch, Acid Spray, and Boom Burst. So Acid Spray is basically just to force a switch. Because nothing really wants a plus, special, a plus two special defense drop. Um, especially because Electric is a very special typing. Um, so Flamesag helped me with, with the Acid Spray idea, so I should probably say thanks to Flamesag and Azak for helping me team build this week. Um, but he gave me the Acid Spray uh, like idea to try just force some switches out. 
and Boom Burst does some very good damage with Punkrock. So hopefully, like, but uh, Boom Burst, he doesn't have a Ghost type, so we can freely just go for that, which is very nice. Then we have Plusul Ultra, uh, Plusul, um, which has why does it have plus its ability? Let me uh, change that to Lightning Rod. I don't need Lightning Rod, but whatever, why not? Um, it's holding the Focus Sash, and it's got Thunder, Counter, Grass Knot, and Wish. So, basically, the strat with Plusle is we want to counter the Seismitoad or the Draco Vish. It wants to live a hit, counter, one shot, done. Grass Knight is for the Seismitoad as well if we're, like, low, like, you know, he's already low on health, just go for a Grass Knot. Wish is if we can set up a Wish, it'd be nice to heal another Pokemon. Or even Plusle itself to get the full HP. Um, just full HP back. I know, like, counter won't work a second time. Just, I just realised that now, actually. Uh, but yeah, just be eager to get some HP back on Plusle or another Pokemon. And then Thunder, just because it will give some good damage in the rain. And it won't miss because of rain, hopefully. If he is bringing that. Um, but if not, you know, we can just risk it. Uh, then we have Fresh Trim, uh, right on Mo, and it has Vossich, Leaf Storm, Pay and Split, and will o -Wisp. Um, so, we didn't need too much speed, so I only put 128 in it. Um, oh, also, I forgot to say, thanks Demo for helping me team build and prep as well, since, uh, I did a couple practice battles where Demo only helped me, like, just make sure everything's alright, so shouts to him as well. I have a terrible memory, so I have, like, I kind of forgot everyone I battled with and stuff. So I'm sorry, my dude. Um... But yeah, we got Volt Switch, Lee Storm, Pain Split, and Will O Wisp. Uh, 252 defense and bold because we want it to live a Ficious Rend or an Outrage or like an Ice Punch or a Poison Jab, stuff like that. So we made it really bulky this week. Um, its aim is basically just to kill the Seismitoad, maybe burn the Draco Vish if I can, burn the Seismitoad. Uh, basically, Rotom Mo counters all his counters, essentially, is what the idea is for him. And then finally we got a Wayne Dark uh, Zero Aura with Plasma Fist, Knock Off, Play Rough, and Fake Out. Um, max attack, little like just just enough speed. Like he didn't need a lot of it because he. I, I think this is the max he needed. Like it wasn't gonna outspeed and I think scarfed if I gave any more from what I know. Um, I think it, like demo uh, gave me this idea of just like taking some out of speed because it was unnecessary and just giving it to HP instead. Um, but he's got fake out um, just to flinch anything on the first turn is out. Knock off to get rid of some items. Plasma's fist just because you know good stab electric type move and then play rough which is for the Draco version. Hopefully we can get a attack load on it. So yeah, this should be going up on. Monday, if I believe I'm correct. I think so. I think I'm uploading this Monday and then the team, the battle will go up on tomorrow. So yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you in the battle tomorrow, my dudes. And hopefully, I know I just said hopefully a lot, but we'll, uh, hopefully we might get a win tomorrow. So I'll see you in the battle, my dudes. Bye.